Well, hello YouTube, how are you doing? Long time no see. Today's video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pair of old Oakley gas can sunglasses that I've had for years and years, and the lenses are shot, the coloring could be better, they're a flat black. I'm gonna update the coloring on them, put new lenses in them, and take you along for the ride. So come on and let's get cracking. These sunglasses bring back a lot of memories for me. I had these back all 2006 is when I got them and they were great. Uh, when I was in the Navy, I had them and because of the salt water, it caused the, uh, the outer layer to delaminate on the lenses. That happened, I fell out of love with them, didn't want to wear them anymore because they were looking kind of funny. They had like little dots all over the lenses, didn't like it anymore. So I basically just shelled them after a couple years. Used to use them for riding my motorcycle too, really like that. Well, now we're gonna fix them up. If you haven't already done it, hit that subscribe button. Also, there's a bell. If you go ahead and tap on that, it'll alert you if I put out a new video. So that way you can watch it too. So for today, what we're doing is we're going to put in new lenses. These lenses, I got them off of eBay. You can just do a search for eBay. I'm not going to link it because I'm not affiliated with them. And I don't want you to go and get it from them and all of a sudden your mileage varies and you don't get as good of a lens as you think you should have or whatever. Uh, one of the things that I did is that I went with uh, a distributor that was in the United States because I wanted to get them pretty quick. I didn't want to wait two months, three months, however long it might take for them to come from China. The other thing that I got was, once again, not sponsored, I'm just showing you what I'm using, but I got Krylon spray paint. It's a ultra flat olive drab green, that's a lot, that's a mouthful, but it's an olive drab ultra flat paint. It's their camouflage line, but once again, what I want to do is I'm going to leave the arms of the glasses the same color. I'm not gonna change the icons, although I really wanted to get the green and black uh, subdued flag. I thought that would've looked really cool on it. Uh, those themselves are like 20 bucks. This is probably like five bucks. These I paid $9 for shipped to the house. So you figure about five and nine, I'm into it for $14. These were $21 by themselves. So I'm more than doubling it. At that point, I might even consider buying new ones, but I decided not because I really like these glasses. But I'm going to color the front frame, the olive drab green, and keep the flat black arms on them because I think that's gonna be a really cool color combination. The lenses are a like a bronze, they call them flat dark earth, uh, but it's like a bronze polarized, pol polarized lens. That's easy for you to say. Polarized lens, polarized lens, polarized lens, polarized lens. Okay, it's a bronze polarized, still can't say it, lens. <laughs> but let's see how it goes. So here we are in the disassembly. To disassemble them, now mine are partially done because I wanted to be able to show you quite easily what you need to do. If you look, there's no pin going through. So there was no reason to unscrew them or anything like that. However, there is a little hole on the bottom. Now you could stick a pin up in there because the reason why I say that is because there's like a hole that goes up. These are merely a pinch fit. You can see that there's no pin that goes through it. It just has a knob here and a knob there, which grabs into a socket over here so you have a ball and socket type hinge uh, very effective you don't have to worry about metal rusting or anything like that uh, I've already taken them apart the way I took them apart initially was that when the arms were in here like this I took a knife blade I put it in there and I pushed down to try to pinch these two arms together because I didn't have anything that was small enough to stick in there maybe you might Possibly a paper clip might work, uh, some type of like a scribe or nail or something like that could possibly work. I didn't have one, so what I did once again was I stuck a knife blade in between the glass frame in the front and the arm to collapse where it pinches right here to collapse this 
uh, pivot point and I could take it out. So the arms are off. For the lenses, they're very easy. Matter of fact, I wonder if you can even see the distortion on them right now. They're, they're really bad. It looks like they're shattered glass. You can almost not see through them. Um, but all you have to do is just grab the frame and just rotate the lenses out of them. Grab the eyeglass lens, the frame, pull down a little bit, and just pop them out. So now I have a frame front, the frame arms, and the lenses. And we're gonna replace them with new lenses, so these are in the trash. So let's go ahead and get these washed. Here we are at the sink. Being at the sink, I've just got some soap. It doesn't matter what type of soap you use. Uh, try to get some type of uh, anti-grease, grease removing soap, things like that, because that's what you want to do. You're gonna remove the oils, the uh, uh, contaminants, anything that would keep, once again, the paint that you're putting on there from making a really good bond. Not only that, you've probably never ever taken them apart before like this, so probably a good time to clean them anyways. So here we go. Now that the frames are clean, next thing I need to do is paint the front part of the frames that I was telling you about. I'm going to paint it in olive drab green like I've been saying all along, ultra flat to match the flat black side so it will all tie in more seamlessly. Almost kind of like it was done like that from the manufacturer. Now it's about 50 degrees outside. I just checked the weather. I got to go do it in my garage. Uh, it's going to be a little cramped in there because I've got my car, a bunch of tools, all kinds of stuff in there. So I'm going to go ahead and spray paint it because you've probably seen a video on how to spray paint before. Uh, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a light coat on uh, after I shake it for a while, put it in some warm water. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it, when it tacks up, I'm going to put another uh, light coat on, a little bit heavier than the first, wait for it to tack up again, and then I'm going to put another coat on. Third coat will be a little bit heavier, but it'll be a finished coat, and I won't need to do anything else to it. Now, the way I'm going to suspend these, because that would be a question I would think of, is would be through where you would normally put the screw to hold the arms for the sunglasses on. Uh, once again, it doesn't have that, so what I'll probably do is stick like a toothpick or something like that up into that little hole that I told you about on the bottom. Originally, that you could push through the hole, uh, which would enter the socket part of the frame, and then into where the ball is on the arm to push it up, just enough to where you can take those two pieces, kind of push it together so you can pull the arm off of the frame front. Okay. Now we're ready for the assembly, and I've got my arm, there's right side, arm, left side, and my painted frames. It's an olive drab, ultra flat, actually, uh, if you look at the flatness of the arm and the flatness of this, which it kind of looks like an eggshell really, not ultra flat, it does have a little bit of a sheen to it, uh, just where the reflection is, it's a, I wouldn't say it's shiny, but it definitely isn't like ultra flat, flat. But anyways, I know I should wait longer, but I'm just dying to do this. I just got to put these together. Uh, oh, man. Uh, looking at it so far, it, it's, to me, it looks really, really good. Let me put my glasses on first. All right, now I got my glasses on. So putting it together is just the reverse. Uh, like I was saying earlier, just it's a ball and socket design. So all you're going to do is just put one end of it in first like this, and then just kind of force it in. I've never really put these together before, so. Okay. All right, so once again, it's just pretty much a ball and socket design, so just snap them together. You don't want to get too rough with it because you can knock the paint off that you just put on and all that, but uh, um, yeah. Let me see here how it goes, that's it. Now it's the Push home. Oh, that's it. It's together. That one's. Oh man, that looks. That looks sharp. I I, I love this color together. Um, it's really 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 cool. I like it a lot. So 
it seems to go together better if it's more uh, there you go straight like that so they fold together so oh man this is I don't know how well you can see it we'll get some close-up shots but I really really like the color it really pops it really it makes it look ultra modern it, it, compared to what they were so let me put some lenses in now as I mentioned earlier these are from eBay I'm not gonna list the, the person I got them from uh, my condition was that I wanted a US seller not Hong Kong China or anything like that because I want to get them pretty quick uh, once I made the decision to get them I wanted them plus if I ever had an issue I felt like I could return it easier um, but they're a flat dark earth uh, non mirror polarized gas can hey I got it that time but uh, for them they're uh, for these lenses they're uh, Probably should have washed my hands because I'm gonna get the fingerprints all over them now. But uh, they're a flat, dark earth bronze color, and I I wanted polarized. That was kind of like my requirement, if you will. Um, put them in same way. Set one corner top end about where it goes uh, on the bottom. Just kind of rotate them in, and well, I'm really happy with the fit. It fits really good. Man, they're really, they're really, those are really nice and tight. They're definitely not popping out easily. They weren't super easy. I mean, they are easy to put in, don't get me wrong, but they're not super easy to where I would be worried about them falling out. I mean, these are like, read the reviews, read the reviews. That was, uh, my requirements may not be your requirements. You may want to spend $2 less and not get an American seller or whatever um, that was my requirement Woo, man so like I said should have waited a little bit longer for the paint to dry but I was I couldn't wait any longer so oh man these like really really snap in hard uh, I'm not gonna have to worry about them unsnapping anytime soon so Take a look at these babies. Yeah, man, these look friggin' awesome. Uh, got the the polarized bronze lenses, got uh, olive drab frame on the front, and flat black on the arms. Man, they look friggin' awesome. 